What do you do if you're talking to a prospective client and it seems like they're the perfect match for what you offer? They're your ideal client, you know you can help them so much, and yet when it comes to price, they say, that's just too much, what do you do? If you've got this challenge, then I want you to watch this video because in the next few minutes, I'm gonna give you the same advice I give to my clients when they bring this me this dilemma. In case we haven't met, I'm Bernadette Doyle, and for over 20 years, I've been helping coaches and consultants um, to get more clients and make more money, and more recently, I have been helping people to do that online, and uh, now I want to help you too. So um, it's very common that on coaching calls with my in my group programs that someone brings a question like this of like, well, I'm, I've got this person, they seem perfect, but my main package is just too much for them, so I felt like I was obliged to offer something at a lower price. And my advice might surprise you, but my advice is not to do this. And the reason for that is I want to explain why, and I want you to understand the true cost of doing this. So first of all, if you're talking to someone and everything is matching up, but the price is what, what you are charging is out of their range, that means, my friend, they're not your ideal client. They're not your client yet. How do we know that they're your ideal client? Well, your ideal clients can and will pay what you want to charge. What I found in working with people is that when they encounter situations, it's coming from a belief that they can't find people out there who are willing to pay their full price. And so because they're going around with that belief, unsurprisingly, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And so they start to encounter this. So when you, when and if you're encountering this, the answer is not to yield and then do either a price drop or try to offer an alternative of service at a lower price. What that does is that really spreads you thin and it stops you from being focused and also it's diluting your impact, it's diluting your efforts. And all it is doing is reinforcing that you can't charge what you really want and, and it will stop you from holding out for the clients who are out there who would be willing and able to pay your full price, but they're not even getting to you because your time and energy is taking up working with people who can who who can only pay less than you really want. So this takes faith. And make no mistake, I just spoke to someone about this this afternoon and she said, I would really love to do that, but at the moment I've got loads of bills coming in and my expenses have increased and it's really hard to turn away that lower lower paying business. I know this. I had exactly the same thing. In fact, every time I've up-leveled my business, every time I've up-leveled my offerings or made a shift in my business, I've encountered exactly the same thing. Take it from me. There's no way to, to, to straddle this. You, you have to start saying no to the business that is a less than perfect fit so that you can stand and be open-handed to receive the business that is out there that does want to come your way but you're getting distracted. You're getting distracted with the clients who are less than perfect fit. So I know this is controversial. I know this this is gonna you know, push some buttons for people. I'm not apologizing for that because you know what? I'm here to serve. Um, I'm not gonna serve you by telling you what you want to hear or what other people want to hear. I'm just gonna speak from my heart and tell you about what's worked for me and what I see working with my clients. So I'd love to hear your comments on this. Have you had a situation where you um, held out and um, you know the next thing you know the perfect client came along or you know have you found are you finding that you're in that trap at the moment of settling for the less than perfect pays less than you really want work and you want to get out of that cycle whatever the situation is I'd love to hear more and I look forward to seeing you on a future video